Hello everyone, in this video we are going to create a Netflix movie rating dashboard. A set of data is collected from Google. I just copied and pasted it here. This set of data is already cleansed. So now we are going to create pivot tables and pivot charts for them. I am renaming the sheet 1 as data. This data set contains the name of the movie, the genre of the movie, their releasing year, their ratings, etc. going to sheet 2 we are renaming the sheet 2 as production country now go to the insert tab click on pivot table go to the data sheet select the whole set of data and click on the ok button now a pivot table is displayed so now you need to drag the country to the row section and a list of movies to the value section so a pivot table is displayed for this pivot table we need to create a pivot chart for that we need to select a whole table go to the insert tab click on pivot chart so a pie chart is displayed you can design the pie chart as you wish. Next we are going to sheet 3. We are renaming the sheet 3 as the genre of the movie. Now go to the insert tab, click on pivot table, go to the data sheet, select the whole set of data. So pivot table is created. So now drag the genre to the row section. and a list of movies to the value section a pivot table is created now click on pivot chart bar chart is displayed you can design the bar chart as you wish a sheet 4 is created rename the sheet 4 as ratings Go to the insert tab, click on pivot table, select a whole set of data and create a pivot table. Now drag the ratings to the row section and a list of movies to the value section. A pivot table is created. Now click on pivot chart. A line chart is displayed. Design the line chart as you wish. Click on sheet 5. Now rename the sheet 5 as ratings on countries. Click on insert tab. Go to pivot table. Go to data sheet, select the whole set of data, so a data table is created, now drag the country to the row section and the ratings to the value section. A pivot table is created. Now click on pivot chart.
A bar chart is displayed. Design it as you wish. Click on sheet 6 and rename it as dashboard. Now go to the page layout and remove the grid lines and headlines. So now the lines are removed. So now go to the insert tab, click on illustrations, click on picture and insert a background picture for the dashboard. Adjust the background picture. Now go to the insert tab. Click on text box. Drag and paste the text box in the center of the picture. Type Netflix movie rating. Select the whole name and increase the size of the title. Also change the font of the title as you wish. Now adjust the text box according to the title. Click on the title and click on format shape. Click on text fill and select no fill option. Go to shape options, select on no fill, click on line, change the color of the title from black to white. Go to shape options, click on line, select no line option so that the borders don't display. Since we have 4 uh, pivot charts, we need to create 4 text boxes accordingly. So click on the first text box, drag and paste it. So now click on the second text box, We are pasting it side by side.
Now click on the third text box. Now we need to format all the shape and fill for these three text boxes. So select the first text box. Change the settings from solid fill to no fill and from solid line to no line. Select the same settings for all these three text boxes. Now add the four text box below the first text box. We also add a fifth text box for the slicer, which we'll discuss later. Now change the settings for these two text boxes as well. In the first text box, type the name of the first pure chart that is production country. Select the whole name and increase its size as well as the color. Now go to the second text box, type genre of the movie. Select the whole title change its color and increase its size. For the third text box, type rating, select the whole title, change its color, increase the size. For the te fourth uh, text box, type ratings on countries, select the whole title, change its color and increase its size. So now we need to paste the two charts on the dashboard. For that, go to the production country, copy the whole chart, go to the dashboard, click Ctrl V, and the pie chart is pasted. Adjust the pie chart according to the text box. You can edit the pivot chart as you wish. Now go to the genre of the movie. Copy the whole chart. And paste it in the dashboard. Adjust the chart. Now go to the ratings sheet, copy the whole chart and paste it in the dashboard. 
you need to adjust the whole chart according to the text box Adjust the title of the dashboard in the center by just dragging the text box as well. Now go to the ratings on countries dashboard, copy the whole chart and paste it in the dashboard. Adjust the chart. So next we are going to create slices. Slices provide buttons that you can click to filter tables or pivot tables. We are going to create three slices for Jana rating and countries. For that go to the data sheet. Select the whole set of data. Click on the insert tab, click on slices and select Jana rating and countries. Three slices appears. Now click on the country slicer, copy it, go to the dashboard and paste it. Now again copy the genre, go to the dashboard and paste it. At last copy the rating as well. and paste the rating adjust the three boxes according to the text box So this is all about slicers. Next we are going to create icons, for that go to the insert tab, click on illustrations and click on icons. Search the icons accordingly, for the production country we can choose a location icon. Now right click on the icon and click on format graphic, change the color of the icon from black to white. Adjust the size of the icon as well. Now repeat the same procedure for all the other three.
for the rating we choose a icon like this adjust the size of the icon and place it here This icon is for the ratings on countries. So by adding these icons, this makes your dashboard looks more interactive and interesting. So this is all about icons. So this is the final outcome of the dashboard. So it looks like this. So a dashboard it is a way of displaying various types of visual data in a single place. Like we added the pivot charts in a single place. It is important because they provide a platform for people to make better, more informed, data-driven decisions as well. So this is how we need to create a dashboard in Excel.